Ladies and gentlemen, we are four nights away from Battleground. Welcome to main event. My name, of course, is Dave Easton. I'm alongside Tim Price. And here comes the man that works at 20%. It's great to be here on main event. And well, yeah, here is the man who, well, still claims to work at 20%. I mean, come on, man, get over yourself. You, you lost to William Regal, your former mentor, and you still want to go about working at 20%. Well... Harvey Beats makes his way to the ring. Yes, welcome to main event. Four nights away from Battleground. And Tim, last night, the shocking return of AJ Z. We'll get into that in a little bit, but you've got to be thinking the world of SmackDown has been turned upside down in the last 24 hours. Yeah, it really has. You know, that shock return from AJ Z and well, also the actions of Gracie J, but that's all stuff to talk about later. Ladies and gentlemen, his opponent, he is Killer Whale. Well, my goodness. I, I think Harvey Pete needs to work a lot more than 20% if he wants to stand a chance against Killer Whale. Because just look at the size of the man. Well, it just looks like Harvey Pete's as some sort of meal ticket. And of course, you were talking about in the intro just there before Harvey Pete defeated by William Regal last week in Newcastle, England. You've got to be thinking, though, this week, uh, um, Killer Will must be thinking easy prey here, but Harvey Bates, if he can get a win here, surely some of that confidence will come back, which he desperately needs to. Oh, it will definitely come back if he can manage to find a way to defeat the Killer Whale, but it's a lot easier saying than doing. Well, Harvey Bates, as you can see, let, <laughs> knows what's coming his way. Killer Whale... Well, you just don't want to get you don't want to get on this man's angry side, as uh, he is ready to go, ladies and gentlemen. What a way we're going to start main event this week! Huge main event coming up as well. And Killer Whale, well, he's ready to uh, feast on some uh, man, man, man. Yeah, he's exactly what he wants to do. To look at the. The size of him, the look on his face, and well, he, he just, he sees dinner in front of him, probably. Big match, John, as always, the referee tells us to get underway. As, oh my goodness, Killer Will just comes across with a huge elbow. Yeah, just a huge elbow, and the, the scary thing about Killer Will is he's so huge, but he does, you know, have some speed behind him. He certainly knows how to move around the ring. As you see, we are literally four nights away now from Battleground. And of course, uh, the huge announcement was made last night that AJZ has been signed to the SmackDown roster, but only as anyone, even a man's man, can do a Russian leg sweep. But the only thing that happened in, in the main event last night, for AJZ to be, well, put through a table by Crazy J, and Daniel Bryan has already said tonight he's going to prove us with an update. Tim. What is 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 AJ Z going to be available for that ladder match? Yeah, will he? I mean, well, I saw it from well watching you know, SmackDown. The way he went for that table, it was brutal, and I wonder what kind of condition he is in heading into Battleground. If he can even head into Battleground. Yeah, the thing that's the thing. Danny Bryan said he will give an update here tonight. Uh, really. Daniel Bryan shocked the world last night when he everyone thought it was going to be Luke Harper versus Crazy J. Then all of a sudden AJ Z comes down. Many people have been wondering why AJ Z had not signed with us. Of course, obviously he had, had the bodybuilding career, and of course that showed last night. But when he came back, a completely different looking AJ Z, a much bulkier AJ Z. But the problem with that is Tim, the injury last night could derail him for the rest of the season. It really could derail him. I mean. He came back with, you know, all this hype, you know, when when his music hit, the fads went crazy, and then he's potentially injured. And look at this, back to this match, Killer Will just working over Harvey Beats here. Look at this, just lovely back elbow by uh, Killer Will, just with some force, and there's the headbutt! And all of a sudden, Harvey Beats in a bit of trouble here, Tim. He's in a lot of trouble. The thing about Killer Whale is he just has so much force behind his attacks. It's scary to witness, but 
Harvey Bees, that's what he's got to do. He's got to, you know, outmaneuver Killer Whale. And look at this. Oh, nice bulldog by Harvey Beat. And the crowd were trying to get behind Killer Whale by saying he's a whale, obviously, compared to he's a man. But, uh, well, you can see this at the moment. I thought Harvey Beach was going to have a chance to get back into this, but that didn't last long. No, it did not. And oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> oh the air being drilled out of Harvey Beach. There. I was just about to say, please do get on our social media. If you guys haven't already, tell everybody where we are. Main event is on tonight. We're going to see Travis Soul versus Kaplan Lars. And in our main event, Sami Zayn and Neville are going to team up against the New Game with the winners taking on glorious domination this Sunday night at Battleground. Yeah, we do have an incredible night of action. And, well, you're seeing the start of it in this matchup as well. Harvey beats. He's back in control, taking a fight. Oh, look at this. No, no way. No way. Oh, my oh. goodness. Can't That's... get the hands hooked, though. Two, and that could have helped Killer Will, but my goodness, what strength. That is some serious strength because Killer Whale, he's got to be, what, 500 pounds? And Harvey got, Beats got, pulled that off. Yeah, unbelievable how he didn't get the three count. And now all of a sudden, oh, Killer Whale. Look at this, just hangs on. Harvey Beats is no small man and he just tosses him over his shoulder. And look at that, no, a bit of, bit of arrogance from Killer Whale. Uh, Killer Whale, he knows he is in control of this matchup, but no, look at this, oh, Harvey Beats. Look at this, oh, oh, nice backbreaker by Harvey Beats. Harvey Beats showing some determination here. What's he going to try? Swinging neckbreaker, takes down the big man. Yeah, hits it perfectly, and Harvey Beats has really got Killer Whale's number at the moment. And taking him to your own. What has Harvey Beats got planned? I mean, this could be a mistake. Killer Whale could be very dangerous when you take a fight to the outside. What is he doing? What is he doing? Are you kidding me? Look oh at my goodness oh, me. Oh. The Just... new aggression here. Yeah, I think to me personally, last week really was a wake up call for Harvey Beats. But oh, God, look at that by Killer Whale. Just. Shoved Harvey Beats away like it was nothing. Well, then you've got the size of Killer Will, but Harvey Beats fighting back here. And again, he just gets thrown away. <laughs> he almost smacked his head off the side here. Killer Will realising, I thought he was going to hit Big Match John for a minute there. Back yeah, which, well, Big Match John could have been out for a whole week if Killer Will knocked into him. And again, Killer Will just keeps throwing Harvey Beats away. Harvey Beats tries and gets up, and he just gets swatted like a fly. Yeah, Killer Whale just make it look easy, and he's got something bad planned here. What is he going for? What is he going to do here? Oh! oh! <laughs> Drilling the air out of Harvey Beats, and that took some out of Killer Whale as well. I had to take it out of him, and oh, now I'll go for a cover, but is he taking too long? Yes, he has. Only a one count, and Killer Whale can't believe it, but you've got to see Killer Whale taking far too long. To get the pinning opportunity here. Harvey misses with a kick. What's Killer Whale going to do this time? Picks Harvey beats up. Oh. Like he's oh. nothing and drops him against the ropes. And now Killer Whale sensing the opportunity to finally put this one away. Look out. Has him up. Marches uh -oh. around the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Splashdown. Oh, and hits it perfectly, and that surely has to be it. Two, three, it is all over. Killer Wheel picks up the win. Well, I've got to commend Harvey Beats for, you know, having the fight in him. Having a lot more fight than I thought he would, but in the end, Killer Wheel just proved to be too much. Big win for Killer Wheel here tonight on Main Event. Coming up next, two men that will battle in the field of four-way for the Intercontinental Championship go head-to-head -head tonight as Travis Soul takes on Kaplan Lars next on Main Event. Well, what a matchup this should be. Well, who is going to pick up the win? Ladies and gentlemen, introduce him first. He is the stylist, Travis Soul. 
There he is, the Starless making his way to the ring, and another Starless who has been, you know, getting quite a amount of success behind him as of recent. And now he's well into a big matchup for the Intercontinental Championship of Battleground. Yep, Battleground will be Phil Foy, Demon Hunter, Travis Hall, Kathleen Lars. <laughs> You've got to be thinking, just three of the men going up against him. Well, Hunter, knowing that Daniel Cage being the fourth man, knowing that Daniel Cage has been hunting that Intercontinental title, but these two men in this match want it just as much. Demon Hunter is going to help a hell of a jo job keeping keeping that title come Sunday night. No, it is going to be very difficult because we're in a fatal fall. him actually have a twenty-five percent charge of winning. Yeah, it is first pinfall submission to win in the Intercontinental title, of course. Well, as I say, Demon Hunter, very vocal, of course, in that he's been underused and really being put in tough matches, but it's going to be really, as I say, I think he has a point. Uh, it's definitely going to be very interesting on Sunday night, especially with Travis Soul in that matchup. And it will be very interesting because thing about multi-man matches like that, actors Damien Hunter, he doesn't have to be pinned to lose his championship. And I'm sure Travis Soul would make the Intercontinental title just stylish, profiling it. But this man has some <laughs> a different look on life. Ladies and gentlemen, he is Kaplan Lars. Yeah, Kaplan Lars, yeah, he's not about styling up profile he's just about coming out to the ring and putting a beating on his opponents yeah the former German police officer looks to go for his first title in GWF on Sunday night and who would bet against him really the man ha, looking to beat down on people yeah, it's a good thing he's uh, never used that nightstick here in GWF, I'm sure he used it when he was in the police force. He has yet, yet to use it here. Get underway here, just a few questions coming in from our Twitch chat, which we'll get to in just a few seconds. Uh, Tim, who are you going to go for on this one? Me personally, I think. I may actually go with the uh, starless Travis Soff. He can, you know, outmaneuver and outpace Kaplan Lars. He can get the big reversals in. And I think he might be able to out-wrestle Kaplan Lars into getting a victory. Well, you're going to see that people in the Twitch chat asking some questions. We'll, we'll talk about Kaplan Lars just quickly. A question saying, Kaplan Lars can use his nightstick. It's no disqualification, remember, on uh, Sunday night. But I'm sure that the referee, Bing Rack John, will try and take uh, that nightstick away here and try and make it as fair as possible. Uh, he may try and do that, but I think it'd be a bit of an un unwise decision to try to take away Captain Lars' nightstick. I mean, he's perfectly legal to use it this Sunday. So it'd be stupid of Big Match John to try and deny him from using it if he wants to. We want to see good wrestling. Oh my goodness, Travis Lars taking over. Just a quick question as well, going back to Crazy J very quickly. What do you make of Crazy J saying after the match? That oh, I'll come back to that. Main event continues after this. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up on Sunday night, it is Battleground, the second SmackDown only peer per view. Who is going to walk out the GWF champion? And three other titles on the line. You do not want to miss it. Half nine in the UK, 10 o'clock for the main show. Make sure you join us. 4th of September, it is Battleground. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, then back to the question I was just about to ask before the, the, inter the interruption of the break. Uh, Tim, Crazy J turning his back on the fans last night saying just because you you cheered AJZ and that's it, I'm not fighting for you, I'm fighting for me. You've got to be thinking, Crazy, Crazy J may have just, is the pressure getting to him? Yeah, very well could be getting to him, but I, me personally, I'm actually happy to see this side from him. Why should he fight for the people? He, he is the champion and I've always had my doubts about him. The fact is, he just needs to do whatever the hell he wants to keep that championship and use any means necessary. And I think that's what he failed to understand, which is why he lost so much when he was first got into the big scene. Well, 
Yeah, we've seen last man standing with G-Money. And of course, Daniel Bryan saying last night, the loser of that match does not get another title shot till next season. Huge pressure. And going in as the champion, knowing if you lose, you're not even going to get another title shot at the GW title. It could be. It's just the pressure. And we've seen it, what he did to EGZ last night. Yep, we did see it. And, well, maybe you're right about, yeah, the pressure could be getting to him. And the fact he's, you know, showing off this new side. But this is the sort of side I wanted to see. I wanted to see, you know, maybe a bit more of a aggressive side of it. I, I still don't feel comfortable about him always representing the SmackDown brand. But if we see an even more aggressive and completely psychopathic side, we could get him, well, into keeping his championship. Uh -oh. oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Cab stop! When have we ever seen Campbell and Lars pull that one out? Three! And, what? And oh my god, and well, that I wonder if he ever used that one on any um criminals, and that's why he got you know kicked out. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest, Kaplan Lars! God, we're on that conversation, I just got completely caught off guard with that. Herb Storm. Ladies and gentlemen, Daniel Bryan has this update. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoy the main event. Well, I have some news about AJZ. He went to a local hospital last night and he will not be cleared, which is a huge disappointment, of course, for our Battleground, of course, and for Sunday night and Battleground. So we need a six man in that match and he will be uh, come known on Sunday night. Also, Carlos against Kevin Owens uh, is now confirmed for Battleground. Uh, that will be on Sunday night as well. Also, Tristan Knight against Bray Wyatt. So the card is stacked for Battleground. Do not miss it this Sunday, only on Global Gaming. So, bad news and very unlucky for ages. We'll talk about that in the upcoming match. Because coming up next, it's the number one contendership match for the GWF Tag Team Titles. It's Neville and Sami Zayn versus The New Day. It's the main event. It's coming up next. Well, what a main event we have here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first from Canada, he is Sami Zayn. The high-flying Canadian Sami Zayn, who, well, could make up for a very good tag team with his good friends Neville both being top high flyers but they are facing well a team that are well veterans in tag teaming and of course Chaz picked up a huge one over Oliver Bisping last night on Smackdown you've got to see they've got they're full of momentum yeah they are truly full of all the momentum but imagine if a uh, Sami Zayn and Neville can well completely derail that momentum well, as you guys say, what about huge news, of course, coming out of Dan Bryan. Let's see, we'll talk about when the match gets started, but for now, Sami Zayn and Neville have a huge opportunity, really, first time tagging here in GWF, and a chance, really, to get a, a, an opportunity at Glorious Domination on Sunday. Yeah, it is a huge opportunity to get, well, the championship shot against Glorious Domination. We'll see which of, well, the teams can get it done. Ladies and gentlemen, his tag team partner, he is the man that gravity forgot, Neville! There is the, well, man, that gravity forgot, just like Sami Zayn, a high-flying sensation. Just does some absolutely crazy things in that ring, and, well, him and Sami Zayn, as I said before, could make a very good team. But, well, I'm trying to remember, they have tag teamed in the past, but I wouldn't say, you know, they're the most experienced when it comes to tag teaming. Well, what a chance, ladies and gentlemen, for them here tonight. Neville looking to high fly and to get his team into the title match this Sunday night. Sunday looks ready, and well, this is just such high stakes. It is indeed. But, ladies and gentlemen, their opponents so good to me. the team of Chaz and Bruce the new game 
Well, here is a team that has well been on such a success as of recent. Getting well the big singles victories and now they have this huge opportunity to go for the tag team titles at Battleground to face well glorious domination. And you have to see this new aggression from the new guy. Well, tonight it looks like they are just one step closer to getting a shot at glorious domination. They are ready. We are ready. It's main event time here tonight. Here we go then. Sami Zayn and Bruce going to start things off. Big match John saying let's get this underway. Let's go Tim. Who's going to be the ones that face glorious domination on Sunday? Now me Percy. I have to go with the new guy for this one. You know as a tag team they're a hell of a lot more experienced. and that They have the well, what I call true tag team dynamic about them. Nice DDT though from Sami Zayn, trying to get a fast start here. But what about that disappointing news we've just heard from Daniel Bryan saying that ages he's not cleared for Sunday night and now we need to find a sixth person. Let the rumours begin. Yeah, I mean, who could it be? I can't wait to see who it will be. And I just thought of uh, something really weird, considering who's in the ring and... Who could be a sixth person in that matchup? Okay. I don't know. I don't know if it's been training, but Francis, could no, you imagine? Come, no, come on. Don't be silly. Please don't be. Don't give them ideas. You know what Daniel Bryan's like. Keep, keep, yeah, he keep, he keep does have this. some weird ideas. There's a uh, tag in. Here comes uh, Charles. Let's see what the uh, Twitch chat. Have to say, what do you guys think about Tim's prediction that it could be Francis who uh, could be the sixth man? What would you think? Would you agree with that? Well, would we say sixth man, or would we say six man no. woman, or six? It must be a man. He's still a man. Let's see what they have to say. The nice back suplex by Chaz. And of course, it could be the, the outcome of this match could also determine if one of these four men get into it. Yeah, very well could. I mean, if the new guy do pick up the win, I'd say that Sami Zayn or Neville would be, you know, a great fit into that ladder match. Big shot, and there's the kick, and Chaz on form. But no, Sami Zayn trying to fight back. The underdog from the underground. No, oh, oh. lovely suplex. Yeah, lovely suplex there by Sami Zayn, and that's well, what Sami Zayn is all about. Yeah, he is a fighter. Just doesn't know when to quit, and you know, the problem with that is it can play a bit of a danger and longevity in this business. The same goes with Neville. Uh, looking down at some of the comments on our Twitch channel, uh, we've got no God, no, no God, no Francis. Someone asking about Trey Savage. Uh, that could be, yeah, very interesting. Trey Savage gets in. But, uh, we'd have to find out how that works. Look out! Here's the kicks from Neville. Trying to soften up that hamstring, and there's the third one that knocks Chaz off his feet. And now Neville looking to try and take control, but Chaz comes back with an uppercut. Stunning Neville, kick into the midsection. But again, Neville too fast for Chaz. Yeah, and that's what Neville's all about. He's just got si such high octane offense, just extremely fast pace, and he knows how to outmaneuver anyone in that ring. So, look out, what's he going to try here? Hurricane Rana! Lovely by Neville, looking for the win, looking to be number one contenders, right here! No, just a two! Chaz there, Magic to kick out, but, you know, Neville look, hooking the leg there, which is very wise, but, oh, God, what a corkscrew standing moonsault! Two! No, again, another kick out! By Chaz. Sammy Zane trying to get the crowd going. And why not? And another Hurricane Rana takeover. Yeah, perfectly executed. As then a standing shooting star press there by Nevin. Neville's on fire at the moment. Look at this now. Scoop. And a... Oh, nice. Falcon Arrow takedown. 
and now just a kick to the back. Been in the wrong corner here, Tim. Yeah, he is in the wrong corner, which could be a big mistake for now. We need to get him more closely towards his corner. As running kick there. Yeah, right into the chest, but you've got to see the chest protector. I don't know if you've done more damage here. Come the tag, maybe, but a bit silly seeing Chaz is in the wrong corner here. But Chaz not taking the opportunity to tag out. Picks up Sami Zayn and drills him into the mat. Yeah, drills it with that Michinoku driver now, and now. Yep, Chaz is going to bring the fresh Bruce into this matchup. All of a sudden now, this could be bad. Big back elbow by Bruce. And now, send into the corner. What are you going to do? Pick Sami Zayn up here. This does not look good. Oh, this could be very bad. What is, is he? What is, what is he doing? What my is... My God, the balance. Oh, my... Jesus! And he's still not done! My God, that huge backflip off the top, and what has he got planned now? Oh, the money shot! We haven't oh, seen this in jiggling. years! Oh, it's it! That is right out of the old game, the new game playbook! Two and a kick out of two! My God, first we saw that huge backflip, and then followed by the money shot. What a night, ladies and gentlemen, we have had our main event, and this is still... Showing you what the tag team titles mean to get a shot of glorious domination. The new game definitely on another level at the moment here. Sami Zayn now desperately needs a tag and what a snap suplex. Take it over and Bruce in control now. And yeah, that was a huge suplex there. Eh? You just well saw the impact and Sparkly oh. Witch! Heads up egg, Sparkly Witch and Sami Zayn could be knocked out. Into the cover! Hook of the leg! Has he got him? Three nine! Two point nine! My god, how ridiculously close was that as oh it looked like Bruce just kicked the side of Sammy's head and then oh split leg drop! Come on! Oh, look at this! It's Big Man's John taking too long! Big DDT on Neville! And the new guy are going to Battleground! Wow, what a huge win for the new guy here tonight! And they are going to Battleground to challenge for the tag team titles. Glorious domination, I hope you're ready. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of this contest, Chaz and Bruce, the new guy! Well, what an episode of Main Event this has been. What a night, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks so much for watching Main Event. The new game will leave. I know they go towards Main Event. Uh, sorry, go towards Battleground on Sunday. I well, hope you can join us for that. But for Tim, see my fans. Goodbye, fans. That was it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks so much for watching. Gave me Tim Price and all the gang. Thanks for watching Main Event. Please like, share, subscribe on YouTube if we don't get copyrighted and banned. If not, we'll see you for NXT and then Battleground coming up.